How does an engineer view the problems with digestion in the gut? We are Steve Wright on the panel at the Functional Forum from Boulder. Um, Steve, if I can just ask, ask you a question. We've had a lot of different perspectives. If you want to grab the mic there. Um, you know, we've had a lot of different perspectives here on the panel, and you sort of started as an engineer, and the gut is sort of a, a system. Uh, from an engineer's point of, of view, how do we really scale up the, the, the treatment of, of root cause resolution in the gut? Yeah, so, uh, you know, as these, this amazing, talented speaker lineup here said, uh, the body is just so made up of all these different systems, and they're all interacting, and um, functional medicine is making, I think, leaps forward in taking this into consideration. And obviously, we know that um, traditional medicine is is not sort of respecting these interplay of systems. And so, I think um, I think we can make even some more leaps forward if we continue to think about the systems theory of how things work together. And if we just sort of of prioritize um, allowing the each system to do sort of its basic function. So, for instance, the mind essentially just basically being relaxed. Um, for instance, the stomach, basically just being able to make stomach acid. So if we, the mind is relaxed, there's still no stomach acid, BTN HCL, uh, pancreatic sufficiency with, with enzymes, things like that. If we can just allow each system, even the adrenal system, maybe just uh, some nutraceuticals or something, um, together we can really, I think, make the systems work in concert much faster and uh, functional medicine, I think, can be simplified through that perspective. And then the advanced testing that we all love, that I love, um, can really allow us to, to make uh, much faster healing profiles. And I think the complexity of cases will come down if we kind of take into account all these different variables and just try to get the minimum effective dose for each system. I mean, you're a real technologist as well as everything else you're, you're doing. Is there a role that technology can play in scaling some of the obvious things that have to come first so that, you know, there's, there's only so many gills, right? And we're trying to scale that up too, but we need, you know, the, it seems like in your programs, some of the work can be done with people at home, maybe working with a coach, but, you know, not really in need of sort of the high touch, high test medicine. Yeah, I think, I think we're all on the same page here, that patient empowerment and uh, a return to body, uh, as Mark was talking about, a return to responsibility of individual is where this is all going. And so the experts on stage here, the experts in the room, you guys are all book solid. And the people coming up um, are following in your wings. But it's all coming down to personal responsibility. And I think that's where the internet is changing the game. Um, we can now empower people to be their own um, somewhat stewards because grandma used to have a medicine cabinet and it was only 60 years ago that the doctor got called when you tried every remedy in the family and now your loved one was literally dying and so that worked i mean decently well and so i think that through the uh different algorithms that were uh, the tech companies in the room the the blogs the the different websites just empowering people to take responsibility we can move this trend big time, and then when you hit the, the lupuses, when you hit the IBDs, when the damage that accumulated over many, many years, that's when you know, these experts, I think, are gonna, they're never gonna be replaced. We're always gonna need them. But um, I, I think we're on a very, very amazing inflection point right now where people are actually seeing that they are now responsible again, that they cannot outsource their medical idea. They are the CEO of their experience, and so, um, I'm really hoping that's what the trend continues and I, and I love things like this because of it. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching and for more great clips like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I've created a special free video just for you. It's called the five steps to becoming a leader in your wellness community and it'll give you some of the starting points on how to position yourself as the leader in your zip code of your health community. All you have to do is click on the link below.